In the last few years, an SEO tactic has emerged that has revolutionized the way people do search engine optimization. That tactic is topical authority. In a nutshell, topical authority is achieved when your website covers a topic more completely than your competition. And when that happens, expect meteoric traffic growth. Sounds simple enough, but when it comes down to doing it, topical authority is a complicated topic that only the top SEO professionals seem to fully understand. That is, until now. In this video, I'm gonna show you how the free AI tool ChatGPT has made topical authority easy as just look at this glorious traffic boner from a website I applied the strategy to recently. Now, in order to explain how this exploit works, did I say exploit? I didn't mean that, but it certainly feels that way. Anyways, to explain how it works, let me quickly break down topical authority as a concept. If you write a single article on a topic, like protein powder, for example, Google just doesn't give a rat's ass. Even if you got Arnold freaking Schwarzenegger and The Rock to co-write it, and it happened to be the best damn protein powder article on the planet, Google is like, I don't give a f but once you've proven yourself by writing more and more topical articles like does protein powder make you fat, how much protein can you absorb in a day, then Google's like, okay, this website is developing into a topical authority on protein, let's award it with some sweet, sweet traffic. Now there's many ranking factors that determine your position on Google. We have topical authority as discussed, but there's also backlinks, content quality, technical SEO, and more. The weight behind topical authority is so high that even if you lack any other signals like backlinks, you can find yourself competing with websites out of your league. Like this case study here that Corey posted. Zero link building done, massive traffic gains. Now problem number one, you need to produce a metric ass ton of content in order to achieve topical authority. For example, when I did research on protein powder as a topic, I found over 200 unique articles that need to be written. This can be costly. For example, 200 articles written at six cents per word and an average word length of 1,500 words is going to cost you a cool $18 thousand dollars. If you had one writer that could produce an article per day, you'd be done in six months. You can get it done in 40 days if you use five writers, but managing that is about as fun as a migraine. That said, this is all no problem because AI software like ChatGPT is letting you churn out content fast as hell. After you finish here, check out my video case study on how I built an entire website with AI generated content. Link in the description. However, there's a second problem with implementing topical authority. What all are you supposed to write to cover a topic and achieve topical authority status? If you're trying to become a topical authority on pro protein powder, how did I know that there's 212 articles that need to be written? This is called creating a topical map, and it's where 99% of people get stuck with this process. Turns out ChatGPT is a freaking cheat code when it comes to topical maps too. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. But real quick, head to the link in the pinned comment to sign up for my free SEO training masterclass. You'll learn everything I'm doing today in 2023 to get websites to the top of Google. Now back to the video. To generate a topical map manually involves a two-step process. First you source subtopics from as many places places as possible. Answer the public, people also ask, the autocomplete function, related searches, Ahrefs question report, the Google NLP API, and your competitor's sitemaps. You're gonna end up with a giga list of thousands of different keyword topics. Some of them belong on the same page, such as what's the best tasting protein powder and best flavored protein drink, but some should be separate. You then use a clustering software to sort them into their proper articles. This process works great, but it takes dozens of hours to produce a topical map, and it takes quite a few tool subscriptions. Here's how to do it with ChatGPT for free. First, if you haven't already signed up, go to chat.openai.com. You might just be the last person on the planet. I'm going to use the topic of gym exercises as our first ChatGPT topical map example. Let's start by agreeing that some topics are going to be more topically related to the subject of gym exercises than other topics. If you write an article on bench press, everyone can agree, Google included, that bench press is a gym exercise. Once you write that article, it's going to help your topical authority. But if you write an article on yoga, sure, some people may consider yoga to be an exercise, but it's not really a gym exercise exercise. Now by this logic, some articles are more beneficial than others for the purpose of building topical authority. Let's agree on that. So it makes sense that you'd want to target these articles first. Let's ask ChatGPT, the free AI tool, to tell us what the most super relevant subtopics are. Yo ChatGPT, give me 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the main category of gym exercises, and here you have it. Bench press, squats, deadlifts, all the way down to jumping lunges. Ain't no yoga in here. Now you can ask ChatGPT, give me 10 different keyword variations of bench press that address a different search intent. How to increase bench press, best bench press workout, bench press technique. Now if you repeat this with the 29 other exercises from before, you now have a topical map of 300 highly relevant articles to the concept of gym exercises. And the critical thing to remember, these are the articles that are most essential for getting to topical authority. And that's because of their semantic relevance to the main topic of gym exercises. Let's do it again with protein powder as the example. Give me 30 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the main category of protein powder. And here we are, types of protein powder, benefits of protein powder, how to choose a protein powder, and so forth. 
For some reason, ChatGPT spit these out a bit wordy. Plant-based protein powders and their benefits. Yeah, that's too much. Hey, ChatGPT, reduce each down to three to five word length keywords. There we go. Now it's simply plant-based protein powders. Let's ask it to break that category down. Give me 10 different keyword variations of plant-based protein powders that address a different search intent. And again, let's make them more concise. And here we are, nice and neat. But you know what? I have a feeling that the plant-based protein powder category is bigger than 10 topics. Hey, ChatGPT, give me 30 of these topics instead. If we have the 30 topics from the first step broken down into the 30 unique keywords each, that's 900 topics. That's all it takes to expand using this method. 10, 20, 30, 100. These are all arbitrary numbers. Just know that the bigger you make your map, the less relevant each of its topics will be. Is this ChatGPT topical map process as good as the manual way? To be honest, Probably not. When you're scraping topic categories from places like the Google NLP API and digging into competitor sitemaps, you're gonna be able to dig out abstract topics like protein powder pancake recipe. So the manual method is gonna be more complete. But with the ChatGPT topical map, you make up for it with the speed, cost, and relevance. If we go back to the protein powder topic dump, you'll notice that the more semantically relevant topics are at the top, while less relevant ones are at the bottom. When you're writing, if you work your way down from the top, you'll find that you achieve topical authority faster than if you covered these topics at random. How how will you know when you hit topical authority? Well, because your traffic will be pitching a tent like this, so it's quite noticeable. So now you know what you need to write, it's time to get that content written. But why not continue to use AI to keep the process both quick and high quality? At the top here, I've left a link to a video case study where I walk you through exactly how I build a profitable website using 100% AI content. Make sure to watch that now.